I would say that for a communications company, their communication is very poor. It's not just rg and &E customers furious about customer service issues. Another big utility in Rochester is feeling the heat as well. This isn't the first time News 10 NBC has investigated Frontier's phone service. It's been a while, but we're starting to see a new uptick in complaints about customer service, and so are state regulators. Tonight, News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey has the story of a Penfield woman who has been waiting six weeks to get her phone line repaired. Lynn Harris has been a customer of Frontier for more than 50 years, and she still has a good old-fashioned landline, uses it often, or at least she did. I noticed a lot of static on the phone on, I think it was the 26th of September, and I called it in, and I was told I would have an appointment, uh, I think it was the 29th, which was a Thursday. She stayed home all day waiting for the technician. He ended up coming around 7 o'clock that night. It was the copper wires in the box in the back, and that he would be able to take care of it. Problem is... So nobody ever came back, though, after that. She was hopeful it would be fixed a few weeks ago when Frontier promised to send another tech. Came back from my trip, there was still a lot of static on the line, and I called Frontier again, and I got the same story. Third time's a charm, she thought, when she had an appointment yesterday. I was home all day, and then I got a text about 7 o'clock in the evening that said, um, we're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're unable to fix your phone right now. You have an appointment on November... Eighth. She's now spent hours on her cell phone, which she likes to use sparingly, calling the phone company to get her landline fixed. I would say that for a communications company, their communication is very poor. She's not the only one who thinks so. The New York State Public Service Commission regulates phone companies, and last month it took double the number of complaints about Frontier compared to the month before. In fact, there are more complaints last month than in any other month of 2022. The lack of information is probably the most frustrating thing. Why not go to another provider? I could. I absolutely could. I just feel sort of a loyalty. I've been with them. They did put fiber optics in for my internet and they did a good job on that. Um, I, I just may change over after this. She's not going to have to do that, at least not at this point. After I called Frontier today to see what was going on with Lynn's phone service, the utility got a tech out to her house within hours. He told Lynn he was diverted from another job to get her phone line up and running. And about an hour ago, Lynn told me that's what he did. Service has been restored. He told her the issue is that there are very few phone line repair people anymore because most of the techs now specialize in fiber optics. I'm still waiting for an official response from Frontier, but at least at this point, Lynn is back up and running and using that landline. Brett. Uh, that's certainly good news. Thank you, Jen.